What's up? This is Cobra Page from Cobra and the Lotus, and you're watching Ramzine.co.uk. Sunday evening, we're here with Cobra Page from Cobra and the Lotus. How are you doing today? All right? I'm doing wicked, thank you. Fantastic. How was the show tonight? It was great. It's always killer. Um, Hard Rock Hell is something that we can always expect and depend on to be a very fun experience. So. Brilliant. I mean, um, you've obviously played here before. Um, so how, how does it sort of compare to like other festivals like Download and Sonosphere? Um, it's uh, it's very different from other festivals actually because the artists can actually um, intermesh and hang out and visit uh, with all the music enthusiasts that come here to enjoy the festival. You know, it's a very different um, level of personal engagement, so it's special. I had a chance to catch up with some old friends then this weekend. Yeah, me yeah. or you? Well, you. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't actually been here. We just got in this afternoon, right, right. before we played, so. We haven't seen anyone yet, but uh, yeah. gonna be catching anyone tonight. Yeah, we're gonna for sure go and watch Buck Cherry because we're touring with those guys, but we're always tearing down our equipment during their set. So yeah. it's gonna be great to just watch a full set and just enjoy it, and not worry about anything else, but just watching them. That's yeah. brilliant. I mean, um, you've got the uh, you've got the new single out, um, Fifty Shades of Evil. So yeah. what's what's the thinking behind the title? It's quite an interesting one. Thank you. Um, it's just an exaggeration on really. Uh, someone that's that evil um, it's about being consumed by greed yeah. and uh, yeah just uh, kind of a fun metaphor so nothing like Fifty Shades of Grey then no and, and it's, it's driving me crazy because everyone <laughs> keeps putting those two together but the song was written way before that, yeah. that book even came out um, it's just the Fifty Shades thing I think that yeah. you know people are we actually saw a review uh, of a show a, a week ago and someone made up um this line in the review saying uh, that we then played a song that was our take on Fifty Shades of Grey and I was like oh for God's sakes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Fantastic. well um, the tour with Book Cherry that's going on we're slap bang in the middle of that at the moment yes. um, how's, how is that going Are you enjoy, is that going all well for you guys yeah it's, it's going great actually uh, there's that crew over there that I was just waving to they're all great guys um, it's been really awesome just to uh, tour with also a, a heavy rock and roll band because we're seeing a lot of new faces which is exciting for us and important I think you know to uh, reach different demographics yeah. it's been awesome I mean like um, you're, you're, you've you're got quite a distinctive sound as a band it's sort of, well I was watching I thought it's sort of like Iced Earth crossed with a bit Ooh. of like Doro that sort of stuff oh, sweet. Um, sort of like I was just sort of think, like thinking about your influences yeah. um, with you sort of being a bit different so who is it that sort of inspired you personally and the band as a whole well, when when this project was first initially started, um, that was uh, that was like almost seven years ago, and it was definitely initially started with the pretense of being a traditional heavy metal band, um, influenced by the likings of you know Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Ice Earth, uh, that stadium level metal that um, a lot of genres can connect to, and it doesn't have to particularly be a niche, and that's really important to us. We really don't want to be a niche metal. Um, uh, we, w we do want to bring in, though, aspects of all the other genres because there's great things in the millions of... It seems like there's millions of metal genres these days. It yeah. just keeps expanding and new, new ones, ones are born. Up every week, yeah. Oh, man, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, there's so much good music that nowadays the whole band is influenced by so much different yeah. stuff, you know? I'd say, well, the tour with Butch Harry is sort of more of a rock band that'll get sort of, let's say, wider audience. So, yeah. maybe more influences coming in from that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, you learn things with every band that you tour with as well. Um, you know, different uh, things you see. Maybe, hmm, we should try that. Maybe there's a way to put that in our music, but stay authentic to ourselves. You know, it's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, to finally, to wrap it up, what can we expect from Cobra and the Lotus going forward into 2013? Well, you can expect to see us again, most likely, because we seem to always pop up here somewhere or another, um, because the UK is just, it's the best for rock and roll. You guys have the history. Thanks so. very much. Yeah. That's brilliant. Well, thanks for your time today, Cobra. And um, we'll see you down the front for Book Cherry. Yeah, right on.